Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome back to Outward. Okay guys, well we finished the Ash Giants quest, and it's been three days. Let's go talk to Risa and see what she has to say. This quest is going to be called Whispering Bones. Ancestors guide you. I was hoping you returned soon. Wonderful news. I, I had a feeling we had to be making you this offer. I need you to join the Cryptea. The what? You haven't heard of us? Good, then we've been doing our job. Listen well. I'm sure that even if you've heard of us, you'd have misconceptions about who we are and what we do. When the Collective was first formed, most of us wanted to ensure that detailed records were kept of everything we did, more than simple paper could cover. This collection of memories is the heart and soul of the Collective. We've enshrined the memories of several of our members into an altar, creating the ancestral memories. We've been adding to it ever since. This collection of memories is the heart and soul of the collective. It's how we have governed our people for centuries. One of our members betrayed us. She became a lich by devouring the memories of her ancestors. By anchoring her life to each of her descendants, she became immortal. You may know her as the Scarlet Lady. The... The lich that supposedly fled to the Scarlet Moon? Everyone's heard that fairy tale. She is no fairy tale. If the Scarlet Lady were to gain control over the ancestral memories, it would be the end of the Collective. She could use them to guide our decisions as she pleased, or unleash a horde of undead on Enmerker, or worse. We oppose the Scarlet Lady's efforts to control the Collective. We consult the ancestral memories regularly to find her potential descendants and deal with them. You mean kill them. Yes, it's tragic, but it's the only way to sever the Scarlet Lady's hold on the world. Wait, it's been ages and you haven't wiped them all out yet? This is troubling. She's grown craftier at spawning and hiding new descendants over the ages. More than once, under uh, underestimating her intelligence has caused great harm to the Collective. And you want me to join you why, exactly? The Scarlet Lady is moving against us. Most of our members are tied up with the war, and I can't reach out to them for help. All I have are Gabriella and Julius right now. I need new members. Sounds like you have more than just me in mind. Yes. I've I have already asked Roland. He's agreed. As long as he remains with the Cryptea, I will make his blood price payments for him. He could not refuse. No, I don't see how he could. It, he lacks any way to pay the blood price on his own. I know how to use my assets, Forrest Fred. Royal feel like he has nothing to lose. I would be a fool not to leverage that. God, she's... The Collective depends on us. I won't force you to remain with us afterwards as long as you keep our secrets, but I desperately need your help. The Collective depends on us. Fine, I'll help you. If you're not willing to remain with the Cryptea once this threat is passed, I understand. This is your task. I've already sent Roland to the Conflux Mountain and the Chersonese to open himself to mana. I'm honestly worried that he'll be able to handle the... I'm honestly worried if he'll be able to handle the journey. I need you to meet him inside there and keep him safe until he can open up his magical potential. If you haven't already unlocked the power of mana within you, now's a good time. If you choose to remain a member of the Cryptea, ga gaining the power of magic will make communicating, communing with the ancestral memories much easier. Once you've finished, report to Gabriella. She'll direct your efforts to counter the crisis. Do whatever she asks of you. Okay. So we got to go do the Conflux Mountain, guys. Find Roland inside the Confl inside the Blue Chambers path. The mountain uh, yeah, gives a tall purple peak in the center of the chairs. You guys know where to unlock mana by now, right? So, yeah. All right. So that's where we got to go. And there's something about this quest you guys need to know. There's like three outcomes. All right. The best possible outcome comes from you basically reassuring this guy all the time. So every chance you get to reassure him, you need to do that. That way you'll get the best possible outcome of, of this quest. And that we'll explain that later on. All right, I caught a cold on the way here, guys. This is the Blue Chamber Conflux Path. It is right here, right here on the south side, halfway up the mountain in the Tristanese map. You know the Sierra's map? All right, so this is where we gotta be. All right, to find Roland, you got to go left instead of right. Normally, you'd go right to go down to the Conflux Path, but you got to go left. And there should be a baddie in here somewhere. I don't know where he's at. Where is he?
All right, go this way, go to the right, then go to the right again. There's a mantis right here we got to kill. And then, he's right here. Oh, what? You saved me? Thank you, I really owe you one. That rock mantis really had me. You're injured. Hang on, let me patch you up. Oh, God. God dang it. This guy. Hang on. Oh, what? I got bandages on me. I can handle it myself. You keep going. Oh, I'm coming with you. I don't want to I have to bail you out again. No way. If I'm going to do this, I need to try to make it on my own. Give me a few minutes of head start to get to the heart of the mountain, all right? Okay. So I now he's he's at the heart of the mountain, guys. So you can go ahead and you can um, you can head over there and get it yourself. So we're gonna get. Well, I'll meet you in there. All right, there he is. That's a cool looking sword. Oh, hey, lad's name. Everything hurts. Everything hurts. I had no idea the mana ritual was so painful. Exactly. How much of your life do you sacrifice to tap into the ley line? I wanted as much mana as I could take. I just kept pouring my life into the ley line. Uh oh. Uh, -oh. <laughs> uh, you complete moron. You have a death wish. You must have gained a lot, a lot of magical power. How does it feel? All right. Tr always try to be nice to this guy, as much as you can. So number two is what we want. With this, I can actually reshape my future. I feel worn and empty, but also full of power. For the first time in my life, I can actually reshape my future. Nice. I'm already able to use magic. See the sword? I made it myself out of my own mana. I can make a blade whenever I need one. A sword made out of mana is kind of impressive for a new mage. Do you know how to use it? <laughs> it might be made of mana, but it's still but it's still a sword. It's point the pointy end goes into the bad guys. How hard can it be? Hey, can you do me a favor? While we're going while we're back here in Chersonese, uh, there's somebody somewhere I want to go. I feel better if you came along. There's this cave on the beach near Sierzo. When we were kids, John and I used to go to into the starfish cave. I lost something there, something that belonged to my father. Sure, why not? Always be nice to him. Oh, uh, thank you. It means a lot to me. I, the, the cave I'm talking about is the one right near Sierzo's back door on the beach where the tunnel from the storage tunnel comes out. It's the uh, blue sand cave, guys. Okay, guys, we're inside of Sierra's storage, and if you haven't been, gone back and watched any of my videos, you should go back and watch them. If you don't know how to unlock your mana, there's a video for that. And if you don't know anything about Sierra's storage, well, then this is the very beginning of the game, so I'm 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 surprised you don't know anything about it. So uh, there's there's videos on all this stuff, guys. Which I'm just trying to get you through this quest as fast as possible. So we're gonna go and we're gonna hit the starfish cave, and we may have to wait till nighttime for that to happen, but. All right, it is nighttime, so we're good to go. Obviously, you got to watch out for the pistol shrimp around here. There's one to my right there. This is the blue sand cave, so there should be plenty of blue sand in here if you want some, if you needed some. I say plenty. There's usually two or three, four, somewhere in there. He must be in the back. I bet you there's a, I bet you there's a pistol shrimp that, that's got him cornered. Yes, of course. Hey. Dude. Do I gotta babysit you all the time? What's going on? G I've made a terrible mistake. I gave up so much of my life in the ley line that my body is as frail as a spider web. I'll never shake the bliss blood price. I'll never amount to anything. Uh, okay, so like I said, always be nice. Rowan, you get your chin up. There's always hope uh, if you keep at it. Oh, right. Hope. The little carrot you dangle in front of a horse to make it keep going. Life's already beaten me with a damn stick. Why should I care about the stupid carrot? So what are we looking for? Hmm. My dad's old compass. Yazan and I took it when we were kids to run around outside. You can imagine how it ended up. Stupid shrimp would have just killed us if it wasn't for that old gate warden saving us. It's all I have left to remember my dad by. Um, I can see why you'd come back for this. Oh, uh, thank you. I won't forget this. Sure. 
I'll see you back in Berg. I'm going to report to Gabriella once I've caught my breath and see you back in Berg, Forrest Fred. Okay. Gabriella. At least one of you knows what they're doing. Roland told me how you build him out of the complex mountain. I'm glad Risa sent you. At least you know what you're doing. I need you to prove you can stare death in the face and come out on top. Okay. Here's the plan. There's an old temple that belonged to the Wind of the Cabal and Mercury that's been a lair for scour scourge beasts since they emerged. The other day I saw a distinctive bright green shell horror enter the place. I want you to go kill it for me. Okay. Got it. This is bad. Have you ever fought one before? You're either foolishly overconfident or you've been up to things I haven't even heard about. I hope for your sake it's, it's not the former. Don't forget to take Roland with you. Okay, that's fine. He's he's being tested too. All right, that's fine. Roland. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! There's no way I'm ready to take down a shell horror. Those things are massive. I don't know how to work my mana yet either. What's wrong with your mana? You're able to summon that sword just fine. Yeah, let's do number two. Because it kind of sounds like we care about him. Oh no! Yes, oh, but no. it bends a oh, lot. No. Well, I have it. Okay. Yes, but it bends a lot while I have it out. It feels blunt half the time I swing it. My mana reserves are huge, but I can't seem to focus them properly. I wonder, maybe we can find someone to make you a tool that makes it easier to focus that thing. Could you ask for me? I'm sure there's a smith somewhere in this city that's skilled enough. Could you ask him? Sure. All right, so that just got updated. So we need to go to find a smith in Berg to make a trinket for Roland. You look like something is bothering you. Is something a master smith can deal with? Maybe. Someone I know needs a tool or something that lets him focus his mana. Can you help? I wonder. You must mean Roland. Uh, he was here the other day showing me that magic blade of his. Yeah, I can make a trinket of some kind. Here's what I need. An emerald ruby, blue sand, and a mana stone. Bring them here and I'll craft that trinket. I actually have that on me, guys, so we're going to do that. We're going to give it to him. I have an emerald, I have, a blue, I have blue sand, and I have a mana stone. Okay, farewell. And then talk to him again. Here's what I need. Here you go. Work your magic. I'll get started right away. Should I work with an emerald or a ruby? Use an emerald. <laughs> it was tricky work, but I think this should do nicely. All Roland will have to do is clutch this trinket in his palm, channel the blade through it, and it should be always sharp and solid. Okay. I'll make sure you get this gets to Roland. I'll send a courier. He'll bring the trinket to Roland within the hour. Okay, farewell. All right, so we did that, and so that's good. And now we got to kill a green shell horror in the Cabal of Wind Temple in a Mercury Forest Southwest. That's going to be pretty easy. Okay, uh, it's time to kill that green horror. Let's meet me at the Cabal of Wind Temple. All right, I'm on my way there. We'll never know unless we try. See you at the old temple. You've seen it, right? Or, yeah, I know where it's at. All right, guys, we're headed to the Cabal of Wind Temple. I'll show you where it's at on the map as soon as we get outside of Berg. Okay, if you've never been to the Cabal of Wind Temple, it's right here. It's southwest or southwest of Berg, uh, on the other side of the lake right here. So, yeah, that's where you're going to want to be. There is an Immaculate there. It's on the outside that you will have to fight unless you want to, like, avoid him. And you can just run right into the in, into the, the temple. He's pretty easy to avoid, so it shouldn't be that big a deal. You can kill him if you want. All right, this is the Cabal of Wind Temple. I'm just going to avoid the dude. He's going to be right there. We're just going to zip right past him. And just go right inside the temple like that. Alright, so the green horror is right here. Now, if you know anything about this... this is, he, is Roland inside? Roland's inside right there. So, if you know anything about this dungeon, guys, if you can get any, anything that's in this room and you flip this switch, you'll kill it. Like, I just killed two of those horrors that were in there. So, and you hit that to re hit it again to reset it. Now, I don't know if I can get this guy down in here. I should be able to, I think. Uh, but I got to... Yeah, I can just do that. We're just going to do that. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to see if I can get this guy to follow me down in there. Come here. Come here, big boy. A little bit of a challenge, but it should... Oh, there he is. Okay, he's inside now. Let's get him over here. I don't care about the small ones. They don't They don't matter. All right. And now. All right, we're going to be good. 
flip it flip the switch there we go okay there we go now they're trapped inside all right i flip the switch i should be good to go oh there we go we killed it, we did it. We actually did it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not dead. You carried your work. Good job. Oh, uh, thank you. Feels like I really did. Thanks for everything. Let's go rip a trophy off this thing and show Gabriella, huh? All right, he's gone. I have to go get the trophy. I should be all right. Let's go ahead and jump. Whoa, boom. All right, where's that green one? Where is he? There he is. Okay. And if you don't, there we go. So green horror chitin, that's what you need. That's your trophy. It's too unstable to be used for crafting weapon, weapons. And then you can take the rest of the stuff if you want. I don't need it, but well, you can. But yeah, if you can kill if all five of the other horrors that are in here, guys, you can actually unlock this door. And this is, you can get the thrice rod, rod halberd that's back behind this door. I've, already, I've got a video that shows you how to do it. So go ahead and check, check that out in the playlist, guys. All right, and now it says, return to Gabrielle and Berg and report that you've killed the green shell horror. Make sure you have that trophy on you. Otherwise, it's going to take her like two days to, to come over here and prove it. All right, we got to go back and talk to Gabriella. Hey there. Did you kill that green horror yet? Yep, it's dead. Did you bring back proof? Of course. Huh. Well done. Yep. I can smell the blood on it. You must have done a bang-up job on that thing. Yeah, I just used... Use the lever. Excellent. All right. I'll initiate both of you the moment you're ready. The sooner both of you are connected to the ancestral memories, the better. Can you go fetch Julius? I need experienced cryptea made for this. In the meantime, Roland, come with me. We're going to the necropolis to prepare for the initiation. You know where I could find Julius him? Julius has been staying at the inn. Of course he is. Okay. All right. Oh, I got some stuff here, man. Cool. I gotta find Julius inside of Berg's Inn. I got some potions. That's cool. Whoa, whoa. Shoom, shoom, shoom. Excuse me. All right. How are you? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey you. Oi, you. Yes, you! Go fetch Risa. One of her idiots just tried to stab me. Is that Julius' corpse behind you? What happened here? He was talking with the girl in red, and it turned into an argument. She was telling him that there was something she needed to do, and he was refusing to let, uh, telling her that he wouldn't let her throw her life away. She said, if I don't get into that necropolis, my mistress will kill me. And I decided it might be a good idea to ask him a few questions. That's when he tried to take me with a dagger. The girl grabbed something off his belt and bolted for the door. Julius, you idiot. That sounds like the oldest story in the book. Oh, it's on. What are you blabbering about? One of Reese's goons tries to murder me and you're concerned about a girl that ran instead? You'll have to go get Reese yourself. I need to catch up with the woman before she breaks something important in the necropolis. Farewell. It's kind of a lengthy quest, by the way, if you hadn't noticed. In the necropolis. All right, we're in Necropolis. There's going to be a couple ghosts in here, guys. We're going to go ahead and, um... Oh, I'm just going to get ready here. Their reds aren't that hard. This red isn't that hard to kill. I'm going to try to separate the two of them, though, if I can get them. Go down this way. I can open the Necropolis right here. Boom. I really wanted these guys separate, but I'll do what I, I, do what I have to do, I guess. And... gonna hit me once or twice maybe not I might be all right I'm gonna run a stamina though oh dude there we go that was kind of rough but it's all right all right we're set all right ooh blue sand All right, then. Gabriella. Oh, thank the ancestors. Did you find Julius? He's dead. Oh, lovely. 
I can see where that story's going. What happened to you? You're injured. As soon as we got this far, ghosts started pouring out. I think there's remnants of the frayed off uh, they're frayed off from the ancestral memories. The damn lich worshiper must have already started to corrupt them. I got taken by surprise. If it wasn't for Roland, Roland saved you? <laughs> Turned out he's got a knack for ghosts and spirits. Since them coming and drove them off. Here's the plan. The ghosts are in a blind fury and sealed the way deeper. I need you to find the altars for the Sutherland and Aberdeen families and make an offering there. If you burn some greasy fern at those altars, it should calm the ghosts down enough that they'll recognize us. Curious. If you don't have any, scour the necropolis. We use greasy fern when communicating with the ancestors. should be enough around here. Okay, well, I have some. So, we're going to find the two altars. Take these blue skull effigies, guys. You need four of them. And that's for later. Uh-oh. Once you take one, it's going to block the door. But there's some greasy fern right here, see? And once you kill the ghost, then it'll let you loose. There's a lot of greasy fern down here, so you don't have to worry about it. It's a red. Okay, interact the southern. There you go. The spirits bound to this altar are, already, are terribly agitated. Only a burnt offering or greasy fern will help you calm them down. Burn it. All right, that's one of them. They finally recognize you and lower their guard. All right, that's two. I have two of the skulls, and I want four of them because you can actually buy a shield down here if you get if you get all four of them. So. I'm going to the other side and do the other, the other, you can grab the other two. There we go. Yoink. Hehe. <laughs> All right. Come here. That opened up this one. We do have all four. Yeah, I have all four blue skull of effigies. Okay. Aberdeen. Burn it. All right. They lower their guard. There's a chest right here. Pretty basic garbage. Don't really care about it. All right. Huh. Well done. Good job. Rowan went up ahead to deal with the altar and our unwelcome guest. Go catch up with him and stop her. You're injured. What happens if a ghost comes after you? Here's the plan. Don't, I don't matter. But that altar, the memories within, if they aren't cleansed with the Scar Scarlet Lady's influence, the collective and everything in it will greatly suffer. Go. Hey, you. This guy. This is uh, Cremio Irer. Off with you. I've got nothing to say to living people. These bones won't put a... Won't be put to rest on their own. What? Yeah, was that one of the ancient blue skulls you have? How did you get that without being torn to shreds? Listen up. 
I don't care if you're a grave robber or a member of the Cryptea. Just gather all four for me. Here you go. We got the ornate bone shield now. Fine. All right. So the ornate bone shield, guys, that we got is 18 impact resistance with a durability of 125. We robbed the graves, and that's our reward. We can sell it. We're going to go this way, go down. And get ready. Roland. Thank a lot you made it. I really don't like this. She already added an entire spirit to the ancestral memories. They're in agony. Can you hear them? Can you see them? No, I can't. How bad is it? You can't see it? The ancestral memories are in a frenzied storm around that altar. There's this huge streak of red winding around it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, She's already no. done serious damage to them. So many memories are tainted with red. It's hard to tell where she ends and where the ancestral memories begin. I think I may be able to use my mana sword to cut her spirit out of that mess. It's risky, but if I jam the blade in just the right spot, we have a chance. Stand back. Once I start cutting, memories and ghosts will start pouring out of that storm. Uh, okay, so always be nice to this guy, right? Because you want the best outcome. I'll have to take that risk. All right. Uh, I don't see any other option. You sure you can handle this? Here goes nothing. Stand back. Here goes nothing. As Roland plants his mana sword into the air around the altar, a violent burst of blue energy blinds you. Then a woman's screams break the air, and red energy rushes past you. Here we go. Is that it? Talk to Risa and the Necropolis are in Berg. Is that all? That's all there was? I expected more, guys. Interact with the tree. There's nothing I can do with that right now. Okay. There she is. I just saw Gabriella. What happened down here? An army of ghosts ran screaming through Berg. What did you do? A follower of the Scarlet Lady forced your spirit into the ancestral memories. Rowan managed to cut her out of them. It was a disaster. What? I was afraid it was something like this. These ghosts must be corrupted memories that were severed from the group. Well, I suppose it can't be helped. If the memories had been completely corrupted by the Scarlet Lady, the consequences would have been final. You have my deepest gratitude. I'm glad I confided the mission t this mission to you. Your actions made a great difference today, although no one in the Collective will ever know what you did for them. If the Criteria ever needs me again, you know how to find me. I do indeed. Thank you for choosing to remain with us, Flora Sled. Fred, your continued aid is welcome. I'm proud to count you as a family. Thank you for all you've done for us. Okay, guys, I got given the Lantern of Souls. I did something that... W I, I got the mediocre scenario. So according to Wiki, there's a choice. If you, the best possible outcome is Roland survives, and you are given a choice of either Ancestor Memories or the Lantern of Souls, okay? But the mediocre only give the mediocre outcome only gives you the lantern of souls and the worst case scenario is that roland contains the scarlet lady but is possessed by her and you have to fight roland and kill him and then you don't get anything from the quest so i got the mediocre result so i don't know what what i did wrong that didn't give me the best result but i thought i was doing everything right but i did get the lantern of souls it gives a ma it's a magical lamp that protects against elemental damage but only when you're holding it 20 to ethereal re resistance and plus 10 to decay fire and frost but only when you're holding it in your offhand so but it never runs out of fuel so you can replace your old lantern with it which is what i'm going to do i'm going to throw this one away and we're just going to carry this with, with us from now on i don't have to worry about it running out of fuel so another if nothing else man at least i've got a light that'll never run out and guys when i said that um he would survive if, in the best case scenario, he actually becomes a lich, according to what I'm reading. So, if that happens to you, then you got the best case scenario and you did something better than I did. Anyway, guys, I hope the video helped you out. If it did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.